Mastitis is the persistent, inflammatory reaction of the udder tissue due to physical trauma or microorganisms infections. Mastitis, a potentially fatal mammary gland infection, is the most common disease in dairy cattle in the United States and worldwide. It is also the most costly disease to the dairy industry. Milk from cows suffering from mastitis has an increased somatic cell count. The most common causes of mastitis in cattle are Streptococcus agalactiae, Staphylococcus aureus and Escherichia coli. Mastitis occurs when white blood cells, leukocytes, are released into the mammary gland, usually in response to bacteria invading the teat canal or occasionally by chemical, mechanical, or thermal trauma on the udder. Milk secreting tissue and various ducts throughout the mammary gland are damaged due to toxins released by the bacteria resulting in reduced milk yield and quality. This disease can be identified by abnormalities in the udder such as swelling, heat, redness, hardness, or pain, if it is clinical. Other indications of mastitis may be abnormalities in milk such as a watery appearance, flakes, or clots. When infected with subclinical mastitis, a cow does not show any visible signs of infection or abnormalities in milk or on the udder. Mastitis can cause a decline in potassium and an increase in lactoferrin. It also results in decreased casein, the major protein in milk. As most calcium in milk is associated with casein, the disruption of casein synthesis contributes to lowered calcium in milk. The milk protein continues to undergo further deterioration during processing and storage. Milk from cows with mastitis also has a higher somatic cell count. Generally speaking, the higher the somatic cell count, the lower the milk quality. Mastitis may be classified according to different criteria either according to the clinical symptoms or depending on the mode of transmission. Clinical mastitis. Clinical mastitis is mastitis in which an abnormality of the udder or secretion is observed. Clinical mastitis can be mild, moderate or severe. Cows with mild clinical mastitis typically have abnormalities in the milk such as clots and flakes with little or no swelling of the gland or systemic illness. 2. Subclinical mastitis. Subclinical mastitis infections don't cause any visible changes in milk or other appearance, making it difficult to detect. The infections affect the dairy producer's bottom line by reducing milk production, decreasing milk quality, and suppressing reproductive performance. 3. Paracute mastitis. Paracute coliform mastitis in the cow is a severe disease characterized by the sudden onset of agalaxia and toxemia. Same as acute but systematic reactions. 4. Acute mastitis. Acute mastitis is usually a bacterial infection and is seen most commonly in the postpartum period. The gross changes in milk, udder, body temperature increases. 5. Subacute mastitis. The term subacute in medical literature refers to falling between acute and chronic in character especially when closer to acute. Mild changes either in milk or on udder. 
6. Chronic mastitis. If the infection persists for at least two months, remain infected in three or more quater infections. The infection is termed chronic and chances of recovery of chronically affected quarters are very low once satrophy, fibrosis has occurred. One. Contagious mastitis. It is usually spread during milking, contact with the milking machine, and through contaminated hands or materials. Milk from an infected quarter can be spread to the teeth skin of other quarters and cows by dirty hands or gloves, teacup liners, and cross flow of milk between teacups. 2. Environmental mastitis. Environmental mastitis is mastitis caused by bacteria which spread primarily outside of the milking parlor. This doesn't mean that they don't spread during milking. Just like with contagious bacteria, infected cows can contaminate the cluster and spread infection to other cows during milking. 3. The main treatment of mastitis is commonly administered by intramammary infusion of an ointment or intramuscular or intravenous injection of antibiotics. Systemic antibiotics given by the intramuscular or subcutaneous route. Intramammary antibiotics should be the first-line treatment for cows with mild uncomplicated mastitis in a single quarter. Genesin Vet 10 Injection Composition Each ml Genesin Vet 10 injection contains gentamicin sulfate BP 169.5 mg equivalent to 100 mg gentamicin. Dosage and administration, cattle, buffalo, 5 ml per 100 kg body weight. Indication, broad spectrum antibiotic widely used for the treatment of urinary and respiratory tract infections. For the treatment of severe infections caused by susceptible gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria including species of Pseudomonas, Prochus, many coliform bacilli and mycoplasma as well. Antihistovet injection, composition, each ml injectable solution contains phenyramin malate BP 22.75 mg dosage colon cattle, buffalo, 5 to 10 milliliters per day. The drug can be administered 2-3 times daily, depending on the severity of the disease or as directed by the registered veterinary physician. It is used for itching at different areas of body, drug allergy, hay fever, urticaria, inflammation, constipation, rhinitis, pulmonary edema, local anesthesia, bronchospasm, corporal toxemia, inflammation of stomach and uterus, ampicin vet injection, composition, each vial contains ampicillin sodium BP 2.12 grams equivalent to 2.0 grams ampicillin along with 10 milliliters WFI. Dosage and administration, cattle, buffalo, 5 milliliters per 100 kilograms body weight. Indication, indicated in different bacterial diseases of animals for example pneumonia, foot rot, enteritis, salmonellosis, calf scour, infected wound, fever, colic bacilliosis, metritis, mastitis, pyella nefertis, black quarter, joint infection, kidney infection, hemorrhagic septicemia etc. Copvet injection,
composition, each ML injectable solution contains ketoprofen BP 100 mg. Dosage colon cattle, 1 ml of Kopfit injection per 33 kg body weight intramuscularly or intravenously every 24 hours up to 3 days. It is highly effective to alleviate pain, inflammation and fever of dairy animals. Safe in pregnancy and lactating period of cattle. Masticare plus powder composition, each 100 grams Masticare plus powder contains, vitamin A, 5000 IU, lactobacillus 100 million spores amino nitrogen 166.67 mg with 4 to 5 calcinated base. Dosage and administration, for pregnant and lactating cow, 30 grams twice daily for 3 to 5 days. Indication prevention and management of subclinical mastitis as well as clinical mastitis. Hygiene or teeth management which includes good housing management, effective teeth preparation and disinfection for good milk hygiene, teeth health and disease control. Prompt identification and treatment of clinical mastitis cases including the use of the most appropriate treatment for the symptoms. Adding the suggested amount and type of minerals and vitamins to your cow's feed can help boost their immune system and help their body fight off the mastitis pathogens. Proper amounts of energy and protein are also needed for a strong immune system. Calling chronically affected cows that become impossible to cure and represent a reservoir of infection for the whole herd. Regular testing and maintenance of the milking machine with regular, recommended teat cup liner replacement and milking machine servicing and attention paid to items which must be checked on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. Good record keeping of all aspects of mastitis treatment, dry cow therapy, cleaning, sanitizing, somatic cell counts and back to scan results, and clinical mastitis cases.